And now the Democratic Alliance has slammed the decision by the ANC caucus to nominate former Defense Minister Nosivio Mapisang Nakula as its candidate for Speaker of Parliament. The official opposition has called for the move, uh, rather has called the move a mockery of Parliament and the Constitution, adding that Mapisang Nakula is not fit to lead the National Assembly. For more on this, I'm joined now by DA Chief Whip, uh, Natasha Matsoni. Natasha, good to have you with us uh, tonight uh, here on In Focus. I mean, we all know the ANC has got the numbers, so it's pretty much a far gone conclusion that um, when uh, the National Assembly sit, the majority of the MPs will certainly vote her in. So, I suppose your protests at this particular point will have no, Im no effect? You know, I've been told that my protests around state capture had no effect either, but here we sit with the uh, President Jacob Zuma finally in jail for contempt of court. So if I had to listen to everyone who told me to stop protesting, I don't think a lot of things would have happened. I think that we need to realize that the ANC is an incredibly split political party. And quite frankly, at this stage of the game, I think anything is possible. And I think that if the correct candidate was put up to be the Speaker of Parliament, there would be a very uh, difficult decision made within the ANC. We've seen a break in ANC ranks. We've seen uh, recalls of certain members, suspensions of certain members. So I suppose it depends if you're in the, uh, if you're holding an ace in your hand or if you've got a cyril up your sleeve. Uh, how you're going to vote in this particular election, but I don't think that the ANC should be overconfident at all. Let's just look at this particular appointment. Do you think it was um, a nomination done on merit? I mean, um, she's, of course, quite senior in the party and has had uh, quite an experience uh, as far as uh, being uh, in, the, in, in that parliament. Look, absolutely. She's had a lot of experience, a lot of bad experience. I mean, we're talking about someone who's alleged to have human trafficked a Burundian woman uh, who was in a romantic relationship with her son. Um, that has never been disproved. We know that uh, she was the defense minister at a time uh, that uh, in informant was uh, uh, bought in from Cuba. Uh, it's the famous Zimbabwean jet scandal where people just caught a lift to Zimbabwe on, on, one, of her, uh, on one of her jets while defense minister. So it's certainly not a career that's untainted and uh, certainly not the kind of reputation that I would want and not the kind of reputation that I think that anyone who is the Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of South Africa should have. So I think experience, yes, but it's the experience, uh, the kind of experience that we shouldn't want in the Parliament of South Africa and certainly a disastrous move on behalf of the ANC because it is not a move that's accepted by many of us and it's going to be very hard for someone who is so disrespected to garner any respect respect in the House. And Tandi Modise was a, a woman of great respect in the House, and uh, she handled the House with a, well, she had an iron fist. She also had a, a, a good way about her. And I think that uh, she, it's big shoes to fill, and certainly not the ex-Minister of Defence is the one to do it. Now, of course, the EDM insisting that she would need to be held before the Joint Standing Committee of Defence for an inquiry over the reported 5 million rands between 2017 and uh, 2019. What will be the impact of that on Parliament as an institution to have the, the Speaker going through this inquiry? Well, you can imagine, it's, it's absolutely diabolical. It's, it's unthought of. The Speaker is in charge of all disciplinary processes in Parliament. We write to the Speaker first, and then the Speaker then sends our messages to the Ethics Committee or to the Powers and Privileges Committee. So to have a Speaker who herself is under scrutiny is just an unthinkable act. So I don't think there's a Parliament in the world that would allow a Speaker who is under scrutiny and has to account for certain wrongdoings, be they alleged or otherwise, uh, to lead the House, and I think that in an already chaotic time, um, having a, a defence, the defence, the ex defence minister as our speaker would simply lead to absolute and utter chaos. Will this reflect on uh, the president himself? I mean, we know separation of powers means he's the executive, not really involved in the legislat legislative arm uh, of government. So, I mean, one would say he has um, very little to do with this particular nomination. However, knowing how the ANC works and its deployment policy, you can't avoid to say, but he probably does know these things would happen. Of course he does, and his cabinet knows, and they have a CADA deployment committee that, that makes sure that CADAs are deployed, and it's one of the things that we want uh, uh, to, to have an urgent debate on, uh, is, is to see CADA deployment documents, because the whole of state capture could have been avoided had the CADA deployment policy of the ANC not existed in the first place. 
We want to be a proud parliament. We want to see people who can do the job take the seat. And let's be honest, the Speaker of Parliament should be completely independent. And we have not yet enjoyed an independent Speaker of Parliament. And strictly speaking, the, 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 the Speaker of Parliament should resign from their political party and be completely apolitical. So yes, I mean, you know, the, the President doesn't have much say in this, but imagine the Deputy President, who is the leader of government business. He has to work exceptionally closely with the Speaker of Parliament because they then decide when Parliament rises, when it sits, what committees are formed, um, when ad hoc, ad hoc committees are formed, they decide on things like who the Secretary to Parliament is. So it's a massive role that the Speaker plays and it should be held by someone who is far beyond any disrepute. Natasha Mazzoni, I appreciate your time and thank you for joining us tonight on In Focus. Natasha Mazzoni, the DA's uh, chief whip there, raising their protests uh, to the nomination of Nosi Vyoma Pisa Nagula as uh, the possible uh, speaker of the National Assembly.